is though. Point is, we're here. Everything's cool. I think everything's cool. I mean, shit could be going down. I wouldn't know. Hey, look. There's something on the ground. Herbal medicine. When you stand there. Where the hell did I end up at, though? Is this like a secret area? Because the camera suddenly changed. I was like, what the fuck is this? Oh, well, it's still a very nice view. Albert, that was very hidden. Very well hidden, actually. How about over here? Nope, not the same effort. Okay. Not the same effort of over here to find a secret herbal medicine thing to look inside the water for no reason. Besides, to look inside the water. Yep. This area kind of makes me think of a horror movie. Like, it seems like it'd be a... I guess besides all the Japanese stuff, it'd be like a setting in, like, the first Friday the 13th movie with Jason and all that, or something like that, basically. So there's a lot of fog, a lot of bridge. There's something coming up ahead of me, but I don't know what's actually coming up, so I might as well just find out. This length of this bridge is kind of disturbing me, actually. And I do hear something. Floating woman. Is that all I was hearing? No, it seems like there's something important with that picture. Floating woman. Shit, I just did. That's like the dead girl. Zero shot, that was fast. Hello, floating woman. Zero shot. This ghost is easy enough, once you know what you're doing. Hello, flame woman. Yep, that was easy enough. Zero shots all the way. Bye, Mrs. Floating Woman. You can suffer all you want. Alas, bye out to you. That was random. But she left something. What'd she leave? A shiny object is stuck between the boards of the broken bridge. Green crystal used to be pretty on okay. And spirit orb. I'm gonna collect a lot of these spirit orbs. Well, wait, there's something else I can take a picture of, apparently. Here we go, it's right there. Drowned woman. Floating woman and drowned woman. Together forever. I'm pretty sure the same person. I'm just making a stupid joke. Okay, camera. Well, since we've upgraded that all the way, we'll add a spirit stone. Alright, accumulation. Yeah, see, we already have half the spirit stones in the whole entire game for the main stuff. I don't care about upgrading the special powers right now. So it's just like, wow, we're making progress fast, aren't we? Oh, yeah, I forgot. I had something to check on my radio. Okay, in fact, apparently, um, I use charm as something new. So it's like calling her cell phone, except it's like her dead, but not being dead. Okay, green crystal, what's going on here? by your ghost, so I mean, as long as I was going to save you. Yep. Okay, I'll have to remember that sometimes the things will update to tell me more of what they're thinking. For some reason. Okay, so after our epic bridge adventure, we are going to the next area. 
which is triggering a cutscene. Bloody kimono. Bye, bloody kimono. I guess I opened the door sooner than I meant to. You're right, this is a large house. So I just do my sister's thoughts. Let's save right now. Yep, minus one, right? <laughs> Progress made. Okay, let's see what's going on all throughout here. There's a flame and the stone lantern. Cool. There's a flame and the stone lantern. Double cool. And what's over here? Nothing. Oh, wait. Yeah, I just saw something. Uh... The trees, dimly visible to the fog, are picked out by your flashlight. Yep, that's pretty cool. A lot of trees there, apparently. Okay, what's over here? More of these things. But one of these days, one of these might have something in them, like in the first game, so never know. Hey, look, blue shiny. Trees, dimly visible. D dimly visible trees. Wait, 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 let's say crimson colored peonies lie scattered on the dark ground. Yeah, there's a path over there. Let's still grab the shiny, though. It's only shiny in the light. Spirit Orb, okay. Well, guess what? And our what we're doing, since we're apparently operating everything from the get-go almost, except without enough points, you'll add the Spirit Orb to the full of accumulation. Yep. And that's progress. Okay, so what's down this path? Because, I mean, might as well start at this path and anything. Let's see. Um, I was just going down the path. I guess it's not right there. Maybe it's here. Guess not. Let's make sure there isn't a path here. Oh, hey, there are crimson colored stuff. I'll take a picture just from memory. Wasn't any really big point to that. To be honest, I probably shouldn't be wasting my film. But I was, anyway. Okay, wait, the door was locked. Uh, the door seems to be locked. Yeah, okay. I couldn't check it twice, apparently, so. I don't even remember this door there, though. It's probably the big door I'm supposed to go inside, but we can explore a little before we do that, right? Right, yeah, we can. We can, we can do whatever we want to. You can finally make out the outline of trees through the darkness. Nobody could be taking care of them now, but they still look splendid beautifully with the landscape. That's cool. Uh, let's see, anything interesting? Can I make out the outline? Okay. Yep, seems like forward's the only way right now. To the Dante house! And upstairs, because that's apparently where my sis is. Sis, can I move stuff on your radio? Nope, you're all quiet still. And we're into this. Okay, chapter three. Okay, our flashlight's out. That's cool. It seems to be held shut by some powerful force. Well, glad we observed outside before we came in here, flashlightless girl. I mean, it could be a lot worse. We could have lost your camera, or, or I mean, you could have lost your shoes, or in a very drastic case, you could have lost your clothes, you could have lost your mind, you could have lost your hair. What the? F Priest behind. Got it. 880 points, apparently that was a hard ghost to get or something. Okay, let's see, uh... I rarely use my flashlight anyway, to be honest. The flowers in the urn are completely withered and dry. They crumble at your touch. Guest must have has been entertained here at one time. Huh. That's very random. What's up there? Well, something... Must be up there. Nothing important, though. Hmm, 
I wonder if I stay here, something would happen eventually. Try pushing the entrance door, but I held by my son that won't budge. There are countless handprints on the door. Yeah, I wasn't. The, I didn't go crazy. I noticed. When I just looked there a second ago. There's suddenly a lot of handprints on the door that wasn't there before. That's very weird, actually. I'll take a picture of it. I know it's gonna waste my film. I need to keep my film done. Anyways, though, this place seems to be aggressively growing creepier. So might as well progress forward, right? Oh, door there. I didn't even notice, to be honest. I just clicked the A button. Let's go back. So I'll be as coming. There is a locked grave with a butterfly design on the door. Now, uh, who's the what coming? There's something that was said. It's like they feel like they're expecting me. Aren't they just giving me such a warm, cold welcome of undeadness? Ooh, shiny. Always a bad idea to run straight to the shiny, but he found some camera equipment in film. Acquired the instant additional functions. The instant additional functions. Uh, detects the fatal frame of the spirit and signals you by making the light in the upper part of the viewfinder flash red. Detects fatal frame. A fatal frame is the most appropriate moment to shoot within the shutter chance. If you create capture a fatal frame, a shutter chance will occur when the blast back. Shooting again during the shutter chance creates a combo shot. Okay, so I guess it shows me the moment the ghosts are most vulnerable instead of just when they're attacking. I'll keep that in mind. There's something on the drawer. Herbal medicine. I also just missed a ghost. But I'm crazy. Something on the drawer. Type 13 film. The old material dusty kimono smells moldy. There are no there are some old kimonos in the chest of drawers. None of them are in any shape to wear. Cool story, bro. So over here we have like door 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 door. I just wonder if something over here. I guess that was crazy. Okay, but there's a door over here. This is the only place we can go right now, so that's be right. Or cutscene. Hey, look, I'm my sister again. Oh, she must be right on the other side of this door. It's all right. It's not like I can be killed right now, let's first have to be very evasive and sneaky because... Ghost right up ahead. Come on, Nai, what's on your mind? Yeah, the camera angle is awkwardly there. I feel like, like changes right here, I was like, hey there! I'm like limping all over the place, but then it's like, oh hey, oh hey, oh bye, oh hey. Over here is probably where I need to go. Doesn't seem to be anything of importance. I mean, is there something in that way? Nope. Then I am the door, and okay, I don't see you can go somewhere over there. Oh, door open here. Nope. <laughs> anything at the end of the hall? Nope, looks like there's something blocking me. There's a little bit of lean runs there, but it looks like an invisible wall is blocking my way. That's cool, too. Okay, so we go inside here, because where it wants me to go. Hey, grab some butterflies. That kind of looks like a ghost, doesn't it? That's why it's probably not a good idea to go towards it. Oh, but there's invisible walls, and I'm just directly taken towards it. And back to me. Open sesame. Yep, this is the exact room. No, I don't open it again. I just went through there. That's kind of funny, but I just try to look at that. Yep, it's just the same hall we were in, but at a different angle. This is different than the other old ghost I fought. 
zero shot. Zero shine is like a motherfucker. Going to attack pose again? Yep, I figured out when the thing goes off, this guy's going to attack. Let's do the last one. There we go, he's going to go into his attack phase. There we go. Lots of zero shots worth a lot of points. You were worth a lot of points, mister. Any other year round? There we go. Spirit out. She couldn't go down here earlier. But I can. Wait. Looking between the torn science screens, you can see into a dim room. Cool. Nothing against the walls, because it kind of looks like a door or something like that there, but I guess there's no door. Okay. So what's down here? Hmm. Well, that was creepy. That actually you kind of surprised me. There are a great many bloody handprints on this plastered wall. Hmm. The prints were made with such force, you can see indentions in the plaster. Well, that's kind of panicky. It seems to be held shut by some powerful force. I guess it really doesn't want me in there right now. That's all okay, though. All good in my hood, though I'm not wearing a hood. That's all good. So we turn around the corner. See a candle. There's not a door here, is there? Nope, no door. Let's continue the way my sister went, because that's the best idea I have ever heard. She's obviously got... Damn, air flows in from the windows at the back. Maybe it's raining outside? That did surprise me. Are you lady? Fuck. There she is. This is ghost is teleporting. I just want to take a horror shot for a second. Give me your death. Come on, silly spirit. Now you want me inside you. There she is, she's trying to pop up and sneak up behind me. Zero shot! Special shot. She's still there though. Yep, there she is right there. Special shot, points. Zero shot, close shot. Extra points, damage, woo! Killed the ghost. I mean the bitch, I mean the ghost. Let's see, camera, how's that holding up? Okay, that's good. No spirit orbs, not enough points quite to get more up on range. Be there eventually though. How about the radio, anything new from? Yep, maybe you have something more to say. All good. Living for our purpose and all that. I just realized I haven't used any healing items this whole entire game, have I? That's pretty surprising. Ooh, shiny. And, well, let's first grab the shiny before I do whatever. Is that a spirit orb? Yeah, I'm getting a lot of these. Okay, so camera, go over here. 
And spirit orb and odd one. Right there. There we go. We're making progress. Almost have all of our basic camera functions all the way upgraded. You hear a distant thunder. Lightning occasionally lights up the sky, but you can't see anything else. Okay, so anything over here, which I should have known about. Nope, doesn't look like it. Just looks like a bunch of crappy. I mean, what? You know what? I'm not damaged enough. I can probably take a few more hits no matter what attacks me. Let's go right through here. That's not creepy. Searching the corners of this room. A gorgeous picture of pine tree and bird is painted on a huge folding screen. It must have been beautiful at one time when now it's faded and depleted. Let's see, is there anything in here that looks scary? Not yet, but it's kind of interesting. How about the centerpiece? The frame of the sunken fireplace is broken and fallen down. On a closer expansion, you see red stains all over the sunken fireplace. Red stains, you say? Here's shiny. Let's pick up shiny. It's shown on the floor shining. Alright, that rock is blinking like a firefly. Someone must have been standing here. He's on the radio, okay. Let's go to our radio. Saying, hey, is there anything else on the radio? It doesn't seem to be anything too interesting going on right now on everyone's mind waves or whatever I'm reading into. Spiritual energy. I don't quite know, actually, to be quite honest. There, there's a box here. Paper shade land has fallen over. That is very interesting. This is the door. Is this the door I came from? Let's look at my handy dandy map and figure that out. Yep, that is the door I came from. There's two other doors in here I haven't been into, so we probably should take advantage of those first, shouldn't we? But first, let's explore the front of the room. I mean, we have to be... Yeah, there's something shiny here. It's hidden, which I wouldn't have noticed if I wasn't going around. Something shiny on the floor. Sacred water. Ooh, yeah. Going around. Oh, cutscene. What, she hiding in the pot? Dead bodies in here. It's... Oh, that's who was laughing. I've seen the scene lots of pictures. Scary doesn't have any effect. That's bad. Let's go map for a second. It's the only way is through this door. Rain is pouring down on the small garden, open to the skies. Oh, shiny. It's not even reflecting on the light. Stone mirror. When holding this, this pleated strength can be restored completely once. Oh, that means I probably... Oh, I haven't seen one. There's an object recovered by a large cloth. The cloth is 
filthy from being exposed to the elements. Keep the stone mirror, just in case. In fact, I'll let myself be hidden and use it before anything else. I got a bunch of healing items in tow right now. What happens if I just go the way I just came? Will Mr. Ghost still be there? Yep, this place is possessed. Probably not best to be in this room for now. Yeah, I'll be back later. Okay, so that room is possessed. It's right in here, though. So. Oh, I missed it. The same cool is happening up there. This is very angled. Yeah, I think this is the room from the title screen. Okay, upward. Light me up. Fire, walk with me. Okay, anyways, upward, upward. Bunch of fun stuff going on all around. We'll be back, I feel certain. What does our map say we are? Oh, a whole new world. But you still gotta catch them all. Yeah, okay. Let's see, is this possessed like the room right below it? I won't look at my map, I'll just explore this. The door is stuck fast. Okay. Hmm. There's another door. Is this door stuck fast? Probably not. Yep, I knew this one was going to be open. The door was stuck. Okay, let's start looking around. Light falls around the paper shade lamp, making the darkness seem very, even more pronounced. There's something in the drawer. Film can be equipped by selecting camera on the menu screen, but we don't need the film yet. On top of the chest of drawers, there is a beautiful red dish on display. Cool. Is there another piece of that person's notes here? What did I just hear? Okay, here we go. I knew it was going to be. Mm -hmm. Folklorist Note 3. Book about the village that was on the old bookshelf. For several days, earthquakes have increased in frequency. At the same time, crimson butterflies are swimming around. Something, uh, something is blocking out the sun. So oh, they look sad. How do crimson butterflies block out the sun? Anyways, how do you know how a butterfly looks sad? Anyways, villagers that you see them put their hands together in prayer. The entire village is an air of impending doom. The village is fearful of the earth's fury. Perhaps the crimson butterfly sacrifice ritual is performed to purify the ground. In the past, every area had some type of ground purifying ceremony. Many of these offered sacrifices to try and calm the gods. And if that custom still remains today, it explains the stillness of the village. The Twin Shrine Maidens must be the guardian deities of the village. The guardian deities, the Twin Shrine Maidens, have, been Chris Butterfly, have become crystal butterflies and are returning to the village. Hmm. That is interesting. All the same, though. Boy. Any difficult sounding books I on the shelves. They're on subjects like legends, sacrifices, and rituals. Cool story, bro. Same, we'll go through here. There are flowers on display in the round, dimly lit window. Yep, okay, same thing that was there before. Oh, there's a door in here. Nothing, nothing. Nothing. There's a door. Let's explore it. Exploration! What's that kimono? A woven bamboo cask hangs on the wall. I only need to get closer to this room. It's kind of creepy to be quite honest. It might be that doll, not the kimono. Could be something behind the kimono as well. Oh, I remember that inside the drawer. Oh, it's a door. 
different place can be seen in the photo. I know where that place is. That's the closet with all the blood things, but I can't go back there right now. Looks like something in the handprints on the wall. Why well, not know where I'm supposed to be going? Okay, all the same, I guess we're headed back. I don't have a good feeling about this at all. Stop laughing, you creepy bitch. Okay. Let's hope that creepy bitch isn't stalking me for this place. So, we can go right through here. Why, hello, hallway. is trying to warn me something. Back out we go. To the rain place. Hello, lightning. You aren't so frightening. Only the sound of rain and thunder can be heard in the small garden. There doesn't seem to be anybody around. Save point. Now we should probably save our game as all this gets really bizarre. Saving, and it's going right up. Go green bar save game, go green bar save game. The cat's outside, but it probably wants me, but right now, I'm sorry, kitty, there's other people that can take you outside right now, and it is raining, just like it is inside the game, so you probably won't be outside anyway. The One of our cats, this one sounds like Olive, so I'm pretty sure it is Olive. That's the name of one of our cats, and I'm pretty sure that Olive right now, uh, he probably wants me to take him outside, but it's raining right now, so he won't want to go outside, so I'll just go up. That was loud. Rain is pouring down the small garden, open to the skies. Alright, so I have to get just past this hallway, full of evil. So past the evil hallway, let's just get through this. Oh, type 90 film. I was not expecting that, to be honest. Come on, let it through. There's only a ghost in the way. There he is now, in fact. What does my map say? My map says I'm going to run right into a wall. That's nice to know. This door is right over here. I never went in here, actually. I know I'm supposed to be going, but might as well go in here while I have the time. Okay, what does my map say about this area? It is a small secluded room that is not safe from whatever it is that's trying to haunt me. In fact, this is probably the worst possible room I could go inside. Wait a second. If I go, in fact, I think I know where that room was. Let me just go back through here. Oh wait, does the radio have anything new for me right now? Nope. Seems like no thing new is going to people's minds. I missed that photo opportunity, though I did barely catch it, to be quite honest. Okay. Dragger. 380 points. Okay, down the path the dragger wins. Yeah, see, there's a trail of blood that led down here. I don't recall seeing that before. Oh. That, that, that's nice of you, door. Just to open it right up for me. There's just a shiny in here. I'll take it. You found some pack of film. You acquired the Blast Power Up Lens. Blast Power Up Lens. Effect raises damage, blast back, strip, or power required too. Upgrade increases damage, enables slow blast back ability. Inflicts heavier damage than normal and enabled blast block. Force poses, blah 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 blah. Okay, so stuff happens. Depress, down the Y button. Blah, blah, blah. While this is effective active, you can inflict heavier damage on the spirit. 
You can also blast back the spirit even when it's not sighted or chance. Raising the level of this effect allows you to inflict increased damage, enables the slow back ability. So blah 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 blah. You can equip or upgrade the, the, the menu. Okay, now what's this that keeps on flashing? I want to take should I take a picture of it. Well, there is a swinging door there. Yes, there is. I'm at herbal medicine. There are traces of splattered blood strained the surface of the chest of drawers. What could have happened here? I don't know. Something pretty crazy. Nothing, nothing. There are some bamboo uh, baskets and boxes scattered around here. Yep. There's some. Yeah, okay, I think I'm in the place I need to take a picture of. Here we go. Let's see what's a picture of. Of course. That was like crazy points right there. There's two of them. It's a closed off room as well. Shot. Fuck these girls. Why did I have to fight two ghosts in such a closed off area? Ghosts, don't get me caught in the whatnot, what you're doing. Using healing that, it's like a like, spirit stone thing. Those are worth more points anyway. Fuck me, though, luckily, it barely seems to hurt me at all. Zero shot obtained. I know what's going on half the time right now. Zero shot obtained. Uh, yeah, two ghosts, all confusing. Quit whining, you bitches. Zero shot, killed that one. Fuck, I knew she's coming up behind me or something like that. My eye on you, woman, or more like my lenses, right? Right. Special core shot, 220 points. Other special shot, so and so points. Look, I'll try to get a killer move on you. Close shot, do 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 do. Crazy goodness. There's something on the ground where the spirits used to be. Diamond stack key. The blood stained wooden key is carved with a diamond stack design. Is this door open, by the way? something, something. Okay, well, let's look at this for a second. I want to see how much I got for that. Probably enough to get me over to 20,000. Yeah, wow, that actually got me a lot. Okay, so... I guess... I should probably do the most expensive one, even though it's not the one I want the most right now. Yep, sure. Da -da 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 -da. Sensitivity is up. Increase the power of range, raises damage to spirits and shot range. Oh, that one increases damage. That's probably why it's good why I raised that one. 
Alright, so we're away from all this bloody room stuff, and I guess we can go back, or whatever it is that I just obtained. Oh, I obtained a key, that's right. Something shining on the floor. Faintly glowing crystal. Use radio on the menu. Listen to the words held within the stone. And the spirit orb! Okay! Thanks to the magic of spirit orbs, we can upgrade the function power of spirit orb into this, so that we are all the way upgrading on everything of basics! Okay, all the same, which means we can listen to the radio now. Radio, nothing new on the menus, and let's listen to this one. Fun. All right. So after radio goodness and two close ghosts in approximately, I believe this key I just got it could be used in a few areas, but I believe it is this way. Besides, I'd rather not go back through possessed Paul again, the crazy laughing girl and floating spirit. I don't know who the hell that is. So it's through here. The fuck. This isn't normal. There are many small commodos in the big box. They must have belonged to the children who lived here. That's this is not the least bit creepy. What are you talking about? Figure if happens with normal the shoulders, there's anything unusual about them. Okay. Well, nothing new really happened here since I was last year, besides the fact that everything went black. Once you go black, you can't go back. But I don't but I'm sorry, it's just the first thing that came to my head right there. Alright, so Haunted Hall is still haunted. What's that? Fuck is the spirit that can't die. Get me out of here with this fucking spirit that's haunting me everywhere. That spirit still scares the crap out of me. Why is that spirit everywhere? Well, I did what I was supposed to do. I was already sure that I was certain to go upstairs. I was just curious what was back there. Curiosity killed the cat, though. But lightning and thunder there was approximate. The only thunder was actually no lightning there. Send me back in Creepyville. Sorry, Mr. Invincible and Slow. I need to be out of here. It was nice meeting up with you again after me inside the hallway. He always gets closer than I would like him to, to be quite honest. God damn it. This cannot be good for my heart. Okay, let's see. Up, up, up. Well, I will give this game credit to it is definitely so far creepier and scarier than the first game. Also, I like the looks a bit more, the aesthetics. They also look better to me. Anyways, after some cool adventures out in Nowheresville, I can probably say finally. I also have to remember I have a spirit stone so I can kill myself once. In fact, let me make sure the spirit stones do the same thing the first game did, some, because some stuff might react differently, but I haven't used a healing item yet, still. So I shouldn't be too worried, but I mean, look at my items, make sure spirit stones do what they say they do. Stone mirror, here we go, stone mirrors. Rives you one time only when your strength reaches zero, so yeah. Just because I know you can't pick any more up after you pick one up, I'll just let my health dwindle. Because I haven't had to heal yet, I mean, so no reason to start doing so now. If I've got, like, magic on my side. This door is stuck fast. And that piggy is just right. No, wait, no, wait, what? That was porridge. That was, sorry. <laughs> piggy is just right. That actually sounds really dirty.
turns head. Very eventful. It was very necessary to the forward plot of the story. What the? What am I seeing here? Folklore's Note 4. There's a book where the spirit used to be. And now so, those scenes are a lot creepier than they were in the first game. It looks like an old diary. Ancient village records have been stored in the ceremony master's house. Many discuss the legends, folk tales, or rituals of the village. There are sure to be many records of folklore value. The forbidden ritual is also called the Crimson Sacrifice Ritual. Twins are used to help seal the gate to hell. There are two parts. The visible ceremony, which occurs periodically and it fails, a hidden ceremony is performed, and if it fails. If all the ceremonies fail, the gate to hell will open, the dead will pour out, and the skies will go dark. They call this disaster the repentance. The whereabouts of Manakuta's friends, the twin boys Itsuki and Mitsuki, are unknown, which is, little, which is a little troubling. If they are found, I might be able to ask them about the village. Oh, come on, you just talked about a ritual that requires you to sacrifice twins. Like, it's not obvious what's going on there. But I'm pretty sure that one of those is the guy I met earlier, the white-haired guy who seems to think that his brother's dead and all that. Who he probably is, so he probably has a right to. But back to Fatal Frame rules. Men are never allowed to live in the Fatal Frame games. They'll always die, so I'm not expecting them to live, really. Anyways, onward over here, though. All the same, the pieces are coming together. Hello, spirit. Don't bother me. There's no reason I can't interact with him. There is a log engraved with a diamond stack, pattern, family crest on the door. The key is covered with a dark red substance. You have unlocked the door with a diamond stack key. And let's ignore the body that was just laying there. Why? Fuck doll room! <laughs> 